Now, the time module is not installed in the back of the faceplate of the master station. I left it out here so you could actually see it. Normally, it would be back in here where you can't see it. We have our Newtone front door entry speaker station with a speaker cone and a push button. Over here, we have our Nest Wi-Fi video doorbell. We have the transformer that's powering the Nest video doorbell. We have a whole bunch of wires that hook everything together, including the Nest power device, the little round one. And this is all wired up exactly like I showed you in the diagram. Hi. That was a very brief portion of a previous video I had published entitled Connecting a Nest Hello Wi-Fi Door Camera to Your Newtone Intercom System or Electronic Door Chime. And it is a very popular video. It has generated a lot of views and it has generated a lot of discussion and so forth. Subsequently to that video, there are four follow-up videos about relay rectifier boards and so on and so on. And today, this is another follow-up video. The first video was published in September of 2019. If you're attempting to connect a Wi-Fi door camera to your intercom, I highly suggest that you watch it. And I will put one of those pop-up things over here somewhere where it will take you to it if you're interested in it. Since that video, there seems to have been a change in one of the aspects of the Nest Hello video system. We've sold lots and lots and lots and lots of relay boards and for the most part all the ones we've sold people have managed to install them and been able to install their Nest Holo cameras and make it ring the chime module or their electronic Newtone chime in their houses without changing those systems around at all. Recently I've had two different people who said they installed the relay board in conjunction with the Nest Hello Wi-Fi door camera system and connected it up to their intercom system, but they had a problem with getting it to work together correctly. The Nest system worked fine, the door chime in the intercom system worked like they always had, but they couldn't get the relay to activate the chime module in the intercom system. Both of these people, after some discussion with me, and this was through no help of me at all because they're the ones that figured it out, they found that there's a ch there's been possibly a change in the app that you download on your phone for the Nest system. It adjusts how things are set up. So that's what this video is about. This video is about how to check the settings in the app that you download on your phone where you buy the Nest Hello camera to activate the relay to ring the door chime in the intercom system. So I downloaded the Nest app onto my phone. I don't have a Nest doorbell. I don't have a Nest camera. I don't have a Nest anything. But you can download the app so that worked out pretty well. So we'll go to apps. Here's the Nest application right here the little blue one so if we open that it will start up once the application has started this is sort of the application home page I guess you would call it up here in the top right hand corner is a little gear wheel and if you tap on the gear wheel it takes you to the next page and on the next page you have several different choices you have account legal home information, home away assist, whoops, touched it by accident, spaces, and we'll sort of scroll up here a little bit so you can see it, familiar faces, family, contacts, Nest Aware, add a product, buy a Nest product, and then at the very bottom, where you can't see it yet, now you can, down here it says under camera, it says front door because they automatically assume you have a front door camera, even if you don't, because why would you have the app otherwise? If you if you click on front door, it takes you to the next screen and the next screen has a variety of adjustments and things about the front door camera. You have camera on and off, indoor chime on and off, home away, assist, schedule, notifications, activity zones, visitor announcement, nest aware, all kinds of googly things. So the one we're interested in is indoor chime on and off. Of course, over here on the right-hand side of that row, you have little on-off buttons. And if we click on it on that one, it's now turned the indoor chime off. 
and if we hit it again, it turns the indoor chime on. And apparently, by default, when you install your Nest Hello camera and you download the app on your phone and so forth, the indoor camera is, by default, I believe, set to the off position. You have to turn the indoor chime on, otherwise it doesn't know that you have an indoor chime. Of course, you don't necessarily have an indoor chime. What you really have is an indoor relay, and the relay is acting like the chime. So instead of activating the coil in a mechanical doorbell, you're activating the coil in the relay. After you've turned the indoor chime on, you have to scroll up the page towards the bottom and here we have another category it says chime duration and if you click on chime duration you have adjustments it says do you have an electronic chime well you're going to pretend you do it says if you do you can adjust how long your door chime rings and then you have chime duration and you can move this from one second all the way up to 10 seconds. You slide the little dot back and forth. Now it's set to five. What my two customers told me was in their installation originally, once they turned the interior chime feature on, the chime duration was automatically set to 10 seconds. And they said that was way too long because what you sort of have to replicate is the amount of duration of time that a visitor would normally spend pushing your doorbell button to make it go ding dong. And that's somewhere probably between one and maybe five seconds maximum. I'm thinking it's more like one and three seconds is probably right. One of my customers told me that when he had it set to 10 seconds, it would ring the chime in the intercom system several times before it stopped. So obviously the relay was staying on too long. So you want to set your chime duration. You probably have to play with it a little bit for your particular installation, but I'm guessing somewhere between one and three seconds is probably plenty. So we'll do a brief review because this kind of video always seems to need a brief review. The Nest Hello homepage on the app on your phone, click on the geared wheel and that takes you to the next page. If you scroll all the way up to the very bottom of the page, down here at the very bottom, you have front door camera. You click on that, it takes you to the next page. You have to turn the indoor chime on and off. That has to be on. And then you scroll up the page to chime duration. And you click on that. And you set that probably somewhere between one and three seconds or so. You'll have to play with this and try it and see how it works with your system. I've had another person contact me. He had a ring door chime and he was having a similar type of problem. And since I think most of these companies copy each other a great amount on how their technology and equipment is designed, I would imagine that the Ring video doorbell app probably has some sort of similar type of arrangement. If you're trying to do this and you've gotten the relay board or if you bought the parts and made your own relay board, which is fine, you may need to look into the app and see if there's a way to turn it on to make it work. I've had a couple other people comment, uh, one of the other brands that comes up a lot when people contact me is the Arlo camera. They hooked it up and I actually, for one customer, made a diagram and showed him how I thought it would hook up and so on and so on. And he said he couldn't get it to work at all. It could be that the Arlo app has something similar to this also and you have to play around with the settings to make it be able to activate the relay which then activates the time module in the intercom. So it's a new development. I don't think this was in place when I made the video back in September of 2019 because I didn't do any of this on my phone. I just downloaded the app and it all worked. So this is obviously an upgrade or a change or something that they've implemented since then. And it just makes it a little bit more to do. I hope you found this interesting and perhaps for a lot of you, it will be helpful. If it is, give it a thumbs up, thumbs up, because that helps us a little bit. There'll be a banner right here that shows you how to subscribe. Go to our YouTube homepage, click on the bell. And when you click on the bell, click on it to receive all notifications. And every time we post a new video, you'll get a notification and you can watch it. That's all for today. See you on the next video.